13th Amendment. You needn't tell me I'm right. I know I am. Okay, so you can see that you have a lot of politics and it's been hard by politics. Let me explain something. You've got two, uh, basically Republicans are not just one group, okay? You've got the conservative Republicans, which he's talking about. Then you've got the radicals. These are the fire breathers. These are the, why don't we exterminate the South and just uh, repopulate them type guys. Uh, Thaddeus Stevens, it's not quite that bad, but they're nasty. And you can't please them. If General loses the battle, he'll end up uh, uh, sitting testifying before the Senate and being grilled. Why did you lose? Perhaps you're not politically uh, uh, in with us. Perhaps you don't believe uh, what we're fighting for if you lost a battle. So the, the radicals are kind of an ugly bunch. But they want the 13th Amendment passed. They want no more slavery. They want African Americans to have the right to vote and they want them to be citizens. And the story done the 13th, 14th, 15th amendments, which it will be. The radical Republicans, though, they are radical. They're a hard-boiled case. And there's a reason why uh, the uh, Thaddeus Stevens will here will be played by Tommy Lee Jones, who can play a hard case as anybody ever could. Okay, yes, sir, go. Did they really use that much slurs back then? Oh, worse than that. I mean, they, they cleaned it up here. You're talking about the N-word? Yeah, well, yeah, even, yeah, even more than that, there's like, they said damn and stuff like that. Oh, that kind of stuff, yeah. Well, actually, it, it never makes it into their memoirs. If, if you read the memoirs, you know, you're sitting there with white gloves, hands. Actually, the memoirs are just right out of the library where you got your own book. If you're reading that stuff, fine. But when you read the letters, you know, you've got you're putting your white gloves on, you're in the, uh, the archives, which I've done a few times. It's, it's <coughs> an interesting experience. And you're reading the actual, taking it out gently out of the envelope and taking, you know, the 1850s and 1860s letters. And reading that, it comes across uh, completely different. Lots of words I can't use in this classroom. Okay? Just as bad as we are now. No difference. No difference, folks. They didn't know that. We don't have anything new. We don't. Okay? Same language. You know, one guy's writing to his brother, and he'll uh, use terms as a, a brick, you know, what house. Uh, Use those terms. There's no difference. They just clean it up for publication. Okay. Now, um, so it's going to be the same thing. Now, Mr. Blair represents. He he's kind of like the founder of the Republican Party. In fact, Blair House is still a fixture in Watch just outside of Washington. Uh, they will. The Confederates will burn it in their 1864 raid. Uh, people ticked off about that, but they'll be rebuilt. Uh, you see, he's got one son that is a corps commander in Sherman's army. Uh, but very, very powerful. Very powerful. But he doesn't control the radicals. 
You notice the, sh the shenanigans that have to be pulled for this thing. This, not much different from today. Not much different from today. Now, one thing here. Everybody misses the point. Only Lincoln's got the point. Only Jeff Lincoln and Jefferson Davis know the truth. Those two are the only two guys that seem to get it. South is fighting for one single thing. Everything else can go by the wayside, and that's independence at this point. What is the one thing that Lincoln can't give them? Independence. All the other stuff is uh, frivolous. The one thing, the one thing Lincoln has to have is the Union restored. The one thing that Jefferson Davis, the Confederate president, has to have is independence. Two contradictory things. There is no negotiation on that. There can be no negotiation on that. And all negotiation on uh, sitting down is wasted because that's the issue. This is an intractable issue. It can't be, it, it can't be negotiated. The South peace, if the South need peace, we'll have peace if you leave us alone. We're independent. That's the one thing that Lincoln can't give them. These folks don't seem to get that at all. But neither did Jefferson Davis's the people he was uh, dealing with, to send north for a peace thing. They didn't get it. The one thing Lincoln can't give them is the one thing they have to have. So all negotiations are crap. Lincoln gets it. He understands this. Jefferson Davis gets it. He understands it. And it seems like nobody around them gets it. Okay. We're going to cut it right there. We have break time until 11.15. something for you, girl. Ooh. I don't think she's plugged in. I don't think she is plugged in. Don't tell them. Okay. Because I like hearing from her a lot. And of course, Libby has to wear flowers in her hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're the only person I know that pulls it off the wall. Block, right? Yeah. So we're we're here till we're here. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to try again to see Kira, so... That's just one of those things where everything gets calm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. I'll see you guys in later. Okay, and do you want to let uh, Kat know she missed three on her warm-up? And she has the... Is she retesting? Okay, I will. If I, if I see her, it's a problem. Okay. Juice. Juice that paddles is where I go horseback riding. I love saddle paddles because I feel like other people. I can do it by myself. Are you it good? It is therapy too. Are you good at horseback riding? The equipment yeah. used is a bareback pad. <laughs> the bareback pad lets the rider feel the motion of the horse. The warmth of the horse helps the muscles in the body. The feeling of the horse helps the rider stay on the center of the horse. There are many physical benefits to riding. The rider can build stronger muscles. Being on the horse gives you better balance and better posture. Very important. Riding horse with, with saddle paddles really helps with my self-esteem and self-respect. I get practice my speaking. I am not able to use my Dynavox mm -hmm. on the back of a horse, mm -hmm. so I have to use my voice. I concentrate better when I ride. I have to pay attention to be safe. Yeah. Saddle pals is good therapy for everyone. It does not matter what disability you have. Mm. 
Or if you do not have a disability riding horses is great. Now I'm on letting the off absence. I caused my horse falls real went home. <coughs> Niner is sick and Angie is too old. They do not have horse for me to ride. My teacher at Adult Pals is Lisa. My aide is Jessica. I miss them. I hope I ride soon. How many days a week do you ride? Two. Small information. One. Two. Is it every day? Two. That's cool. Eight times a month. I took my son horseback riding this summer, and we the horses went on a cliff down to the beach. And I was scared out of my mind because the horse went really close to the edge. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I mean, I just all I had to do was look down, and it I'm was like 500 feet. What? I'm used to the horses because um, my my half my family does vaulted on horses. They took the the vaulting team would take their horses to the beach. So and would, I was talking about me. Yeah. So you scared? They should clue in on that. Yeah. But, um, that, yeah, yes, I was, I was. Now, let's talk about yeah. you. So your, ha your family has horses? Yeah, half of them. Half of them. Nice. Okay. We used to, when I was little, our backyard mm -hmm. had a gate to a big pasture where there were horses. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what class is supposed to do at 11 15, so everyone can just continue on the break. I don't know, you know, continue. Are we going to still watch the movie? What movie? I don't know. You didn't say. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Well, what he said to us? He said it's breaking until 11 15. I don't know what else to do. Well, he might be, he, he might be coming back. Ugh. So you the teacher? <laughs> no. Tyler is the teacher now? Yes, Tyler is the teacher. No, I just go with see. Do you think would you be a nice teacher or a mean teacher? Well, that depends on how responsible the students are. So it would depend so you could go either way. They're nice, you're nice. Yeah. Is that no. the situation? Well that's how you, most, most teachers are. Yes, yeah, that's true. What? She said Laura. Oh, yeah. Was you? Well, I'm pretty much the only one in here. Bro, oh, she said something like... She didn't say Samantha, mm -hmm. did she? Mom. Maybe, oh, Mom. Was Mom about me? No. Catherine, are your batteries going down? Nope, they're charged. They're good. They're ready to go. Okay. Mm. All right. So let's see mm. how kiddos did. Remember when you took these tests, Tyler? The one from Mr. Shear. No, this is Paula's Earth Science. Mm. I had it done. Oh yeah, that was a while. Ago. Hey, yeah. It was a while. It was last year, right? Or was it the year before last year? I did. That was like 2014. Ancient history. Mm -hmm. That was like two years ago. Holy cow, we were all so much younger then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was when I just turned 15. Uh, now I'm 17. You talked to Ryan. Tyler, do you still talk to Ryan? I feel so old. Sometimes. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you, 18? Me? Yeah. 
You know what he does now? Yes, you Well, he said five. he's going to work at Safeway. No, I'm 17, Ryan. Yeah. But I still feel old. Once he, like, is ready for it. What do you mean once he's ready for it? Well, like, his mom is keeping him at her house. No. Why? I, I don't know. He didn't want really give me enough detail. What What are you talking about? Oh, when did you talk to him? Well, like, he texted me. I'm. That's good. Why you don't get his own house for it? <laughs> well, he probably won't get a house. He'll get an apartment. At? I told him he could be my roommate eventually. Mm -hmm. Was he, like, up for that? Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have a roommate that you know. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Because oh, my gosh. I had a roommate that stole all my jewelry. Oh yeah, my god, I just saw something on Twitter about a roommate that was like subtweeting her her roommate, you know, like talking bad about her roommate on Twitter. And um, yeah. she printed out like all the bad things that were said about her on Twitter and it got like over 100,000 retweets and likes and, and um, oh my god. The university police Project. came to her Project. and um, I guess she's getting like now uh, I'm reported for harassment when um, her roommate was the one that was talking bad at like in, at the beginning, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Wow, it's weird. It was at Penn State. Yeah. Did that make sense? Now that makes I'm sense. It, it's you know what it. I don't know. College is. I just. Those, you know what? No offense to all you young people. But mm. these, those institutions are getting more and more expensive. Yeah. And it really seems like the students that go there are getting less and less mature. Maybe it's because social media exposes it quicker. Or yeah. puts it on a national spotlight, uh, yeah. but that I don't. It just mm -hmm. seems that it just seems that choices made are very poor. My son wants to go to Oregon State. It's very beautiful, Oregon. Yeah, he likes it. No, no, not Oregon State. That's the Beavers. The Ducks is Oregon University. Uh, University. Yeah. Of Oregon. <laughs> he wants to go to that one. There's a lot of trees. Mm -hmm. You said your your roommate stole your jewelry. Yes. Did you ever like confront her about it? Uh, I couldn't. Oh, I got a hold of uh, I, you know what? I mean, I was uh, this was like I was fired because it was a lot of, <coughs> and um, <laughs> and uh, so I I probably thought could have gotten into trouble because I could never find her, but I I found her boyfriend. And I got the boyfriend's phone number, and I would call him up every other day. Going, have you talked to your girlfriend about mm -hmm. stealing my jewelry yet? Mm -hmm. And I got him to admit that she did it. It <laughs> did happen. He'd seen her wear it. I said, well, you know what? This is this, and you need to talk to her. Yeah. Oh, that's what I did. Do you know what happened huh? to her? Do I know? No. I actually couldn't even tell you her name right now. Oh, my God. That's you know. how insignificant she became. I was mad. I've never been oh. mad like that before. So, I mean, I, oh my gosh, I used to cook dinner and then I'd make sure she, I would always make her a plate and put it in the fridge. I would clean, 